Hi everybody, Steve Carlson at Clemens Boats in Sandusky, Ohio. I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough video here today on the Boston Whaler 280 Vantage. It's their newest dual console. Uh, replaced the very, very popular 270. Uh, first one came out last fall here in Ohio and it really has been a fantastic boat. Um, since last October, we've actually sold five of these. Uh, we were able to get one more in stock here for the season. This will be the last 2021 that we'll get. And then we'll see some 2022s, not until probably sometime in August. And then we've got another one coming late season in October. So um, again, this has been a very hot replacement for the very popular 270. We'll take you through it now. As, and this is an all new hull, all new running surface. Um, first thing you'll notice over on the port side here is we do have a uh, dive door or side entry door. Back on the transom area, we do have the extended platforms that work really well, both for boarding the boat, walking across, and then certainly when you're hanging out at the sandbar of the beach. Uh, this boat performs great. On this boat, we've got the V8 300 Mercury's um, in the white paint, which is real popular. Walking aboard here, you can see swim ladder off the starboard corner that is under that fiberglass hatch. Nice non-skid on here. And also you can walk across nice and easily. Do have a couple of rod holders in the transom. This boat does feature the optional electric sunshade. It's in a deployed position now. I'll show that going in here in a bit. Um, rod holders built in the gunnels and then also off the back legs of the tower uh, for the guys that want to do fish and do planer boards. Um, they actually do have these at a nice angle that'll work well for that. So looking back here on the lounge seat in the transom area, um, this is one thing that Whaler really does best in class on these dual console boats, which are really popular. It's a nice deep seat, a nice backrest, very comfortable. You don't have exposed hard edges. Um, you've got cushions around the corners. It's a much thicker cushion material than what you'll see on a lot of them. You do have the raised backrest, so it hits you nice as an adult, not just for the kids. I'm gonna go ahead and, and um, put this back up. So the other thing you'll notice is that when you put this back up, you don't have all the upholstery exposed like some of the other companies do in this space. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in this retractable sunshade now. So you just hit one button, it'll bring it all the way in. So here's the, again, the dive door. This serves as a handle for getting in and out. There's a ladder here that stows in the storage under this seat. This is a nice addition to this boat. You do have a bait well in the transom. It's also insulated. The 270 did not have that. You've got fish boxes in the deck on both sides. Go ahead and open these up. So, place for your catch or to go ahead and put some fenders, something like that. Jump seat on the starboard side is new on this model. Most people use this as a drink cooler or some storage. Right now we've got the safety gear in here that comes with the boat. Refrigerator in the cockpit, and then a sink. There is a optional grill that we've done on a few of these. Uh, Whaler kept one of the standbys of their 270 Vantage, the uh, lounge seat here, which converts, which is really nice. You can see into the head. I'll close this for now. So 
this is something that uh, the Whaler Vantages have been famous for for a while now. You can see this seat locks in multiple positions, including coming all the way out as a full lounge. The other thing you can do is on the back side here, pop that up and you've got a forward facing lounge. Go ahead and close that. Now you can also bring this up as a rear facing lounge. So very versatile seating, very rugged hardware as Whaler's known for. Um, you've got storage under this entire compartment. So let's come forward here to the helm. Um, Whaler's also very well known for comfortable seating throughout the boat. You've got their bolster seat with armrests, both fold. So you can fold those up out of the way. Here's Whaler's binnacle for the Mercury. This one has the Mercury active trim on the motors, Lenco trim tabs. This is the spotlight controller. We bring this boat in with the uh, Raymarine. This is a single 12 inch display. And then the Mercury vessel view is behind that. Fusion stereo system. Raymarine VHF, and then moving over here on the port side, we do have this nice little glove box. Look into the head compartment now. So nice and roomy. It is a vacuum flush head. Also freshwater sink. Plenty of room in there. Coming forward, you'll notice, again, really heavy duty hardware on the windshield. Just the framing of the hard top overall is just incredibly rugged. I'm gonna come back here and point one, one other thing that Whaler does. This is the water sport to tow point that's up on top of the hard top. Uh, the significance of that is that shows you how strong and rugged the hard top itself is. Some of the competitors, um, most of them have some sort of water sports tow point that's either removable, rattles around, or comes up over top of the motors and uh, isn't quite as easy user friendly. But to me, the so what is how structurally uh, strong the hard top framing is, and it's designed for that. So just very, very rugged boat throughout. Walking forward here. Nice windshield profile. Uh, the enclosure on this boat is an acrylic setup. So uh, very good visibility, uh, pretty distortion free. And like most of the whalers on the side windows, it's a multiple piece section and if you want some airflow through the sides when it's up, you can anchor it up onto this point so you can leave it up. And then when you're done for the day, you can see the snap line running around. You can just put the bow cover on. And then we also have a stern cover, a aft cover that um, zips in up here. And then you can see the snap line here. So keep the boat nice and protected. Um, another thing Whaler does really nice on this in the bow area is access to the storage area ahead of the helm. It's a large, large storage area, so you've got access up front. And then also another door here right ahead of the helm. So your windscreen door and then access to storage right here. Got uh, storage under the port side, seating, insulated again, and then another storage box 
under the bow area. All of these areas in a whaler, by the nature of how they're constructed, are fantastic coolers if you want to use them for that. Here's something else that's new on this model. The way they've done the front, we've got the windlass and the beach boarding ladder, which is off the side, so you can have both options. In the past, it didn't work so well if you wanted the windlass and the beach boarding ladder. Now we've got both. Also have a freshwater shower up here for coming in the boat. Recessed cleats. Again, just a really nice update on the 280 Vantage that we've got here in stock. Probably the last 2021 available, maybe anywhere in the country as a 2021. Um, it's available here at Clemens Boats in Sandusky, Ohio on Lake Erie. You can get us at ClemensBoats.com. You can see pictures. Uh, Steve Carlson here. Look forward to talking with you soon about the Boston Whaler 280 Vantage.